Hello and welcome back to the Tremendous Tullys. We are expanding northwards into Father's Hill here. Looks like Bravos are going to get the coast, but we are going to get the rest and that's what really matters. Well, getting some of it anyway. Let's put some people in charge of our armies and let's charge up. Yeah, just go straight in. No messing around here. Um... So, wait, so, uh, your enemy, Lord Walter, Walder Chest, uh, Chetwood, has been slain. He was slain in direct single combat by the enemy commander, Lord Harold Armenter. Wait. Lord Walder was slain by the enemy commander. Uh, that's, that's why I find this a weird statement, but okay. Weird. Um, anyway, the main point is we won that one. War score, we're maxed out from battles. Fantastic, so we'll just siege this down and then we're we're good, pretty much. Uh, my liege, I believe that one of your um, vassals can be discouraged from being in conspiratorial factions. Well, he is in one, so yes, we'll ask him politely. Uh, do not speak to me of obligations and duties. I may be your vassal, but it does not make me your slave. Ah, so he's not a fond of that idea then. 99%? Oh, and Bravo's just pieced out for the Ando Coast. You gonna surrender? Nope. Okay, well. On to your final bit of land you have remaining, which has 43 uh, men defending it. Uh, so Damon Frey wants to get married. Marry as you please. He is married. Mela. Okay. Just checking. How's our children situation going? We don't have any. Okay, cool. Uh, well, I mean, we have our one son who then has a grandson, but that, yeah. Basically, we don't have any direct children. Thought I'd just double check there. So it's not a great situation for us in terms of survival, but in terms of expansion, great. Horse demands. So we have now taken these extra bit of lands. Okay. I'm just checking. This isn't part of the, this is going to be the your part of the kingdom. Oh, that's part of the kingdom of Andolus, which I can create. Interesting. And then I'm going to give that to Har Harold Armiter, my nephew. Yes. Cancel votes, yes. Fantastic. So we now have the kingdom of Andolus there. Fantastic news. I was assuming it would be part of Bravos. Just looking at where it was, but Bravos is... Yeah, just the top bit. Interesting. Okay, well, that's good. That was a very short war, wasn't it? Um, Wait for everyone to come back. Yep, the wars have subsided. I'll reappoint the old council. Not that that seems to work. Dismiss. Right. Um, just gonna grab that army. Dismiss. Harold Armenter currently enjoys the title of King of Andolus. However, he currently holds no legal right to that. I will suffer no other kings. Yes. So he's now Lord Paramount Harold. Yes. Which is good. And that now gives us a CB over Bravos. So we could now attack Bravos. Not for force vassalization, but for the Jure claim on the Ando Coast, or a claim on the Ando Coast. Uh, what else is in uh, Andolus? Ooh, there's some in Norvos. Why could I not attack for Willow's Reach? Because that is also the Jure claims, right? Guess not. But yeah, I could attack for Norvos for some land as well here, if I want to continue my expansion. Uh, we need a new Master of Coins. So that's good. That's going to be Demet. Although he is now a lunatic. So maybe not. Maybe I'll put in Renifer uh, Brun here. Sure. Who will collect taxes in King's Landing. And then. Although maybe I should collect taxes. I should probably collect taxes in um, in River Run still. Um, and then training troops still done in River Run. And then do I have an advisor slot? I do. Um, that could be Brandon uh, Stark. Sure. We'll stick you in there for just now. You would like me to attack the Yunkai for you. That is uh, Karth. No, I will not take sides. Okay. Now, if I was to attack Bravos, that's a little bit bigger of a war. But we do definitely have the men available to do that. I think I don't really need to attack them for one bit of land because later we might try and attack them for all of Bravos. So that would seem like a better move. Uh, so we'll hold off on that. I was just checking nearby whether anyone looked like they were in maybe an Andal. Yeah. Uh, don't think so. No. 
Okay. Well, I guess we're the Nine Kingdoms as well now, because we now have uh, Andolus as well as part of one of our kingdoms, which is neat. Um, so we're still fabricating claims. All of the people here are going to be pirates, aren't they? Yeah. We're not going to have a CB against any of them. Oh, we have a CB against this guy? We have forced vassalization, which we can't do because we don't follow the pirate religion. Yeah. What other ones do we have? We have um, emancipation wars. We don't force vassalization. We can't do. This guy is just a potential target, I think is what it calls it here. Yeah. Okay. Um, this one with embargo and forced vassalization. Anti-nomad. With an anti-nomad war. Um, we chuck everybody ba back. The nomadic hordes are split up, but doesn't really do anything for us. Okay, that's fine. Your grace, a raven has arrived from Lord Danwell at Poddingfield. He has announced a wedding between Josman Terek and Myla Errol. Well, they have my assent. That's fine. Uh, do you want a supply limit in Riverrun? Not really, no. S supply limit in River Run is not going to be something I need to worry about. Oh, we need a new maester. Well, we'll get one in a second. Uh, they have selected um, Amori as our new maester. He seems very good at it. He's now Grand Maester. Um, let's take him in there. Um, we can assert that. We can colonize. Maybe I should colonize something. Just for a little bit. I go into your master arms, Horus of Highgarden, the peasants of Glitterdale are in frequent trouble with high women and, and uh, wild beasts. Um, I'll take the revolt risk down. Yeah, definitely. Kind of want to wait till I have a lot of money before I do a colonization. We don't really have a lot right now. I mean, we have enough to do it, but if we then got a lot of things saying, oh, I need you to pay this money for a loan that you took, you know, then we wouldn't have it. My friend invites me to a grand banquet. Oh yeah, let's go. Definitely. Lords of Westlands have changed some laws. Okay. Fair enough. Lord Gawain of Bandal of Bandalon has given me repulsive evidence regarding Lord Donald the uh, Tormentor. It's not really in any faction, so I'll keep the information to myself. We've arrived in uh, Pentos, where we got bread, salt, and hive and fine high garden. Hippocrats. What uh, level of education will I like to purchase for my grandson? See, this is what I'm talking about. This is 250 and we have to do it. Can I choose his guardian? What's his... Uh, what education did he choose? Wait, where is his education? I'm completely lost because the UI is slightly different than I'm expecting. Wait, let me go to a child who's in my court. Do I have any children in my court? Wait, well, on ours, ours is here. So his would also be there. Ah, we just can't see it. That's why I can't see it, is because it's not there. So I don't know what he's chosen as his childhood focus. Guardian currently is a septum. That's probably going to be fine. A genius septum will do a good job, because I think that the education in the mod is determined by learning of your um, educator as well as the learning of the child on top of the other conditions from the main game. So that seems fine. Uh, Your Grace, I've been an employee of Lord Paramount Clifford and I'd like to serve you directly. Um, No, I'm, I'm okay. I don't need an intrigue guy. I think we're fine. Right. At meeting of the small council, Lord Owen Darkland recommended that Sir Morgan Boyer be named as a member of the Kingsguard. We need a new member of the Kingsguard? Uh, I don't think so. No. Need a new Master Arms. I guess that means my King's Guard is dead. Uh, we're going to go with uh, Axel Cressy. Sure. And he is going to go and uh, train troops in River Run a little bit. Get them back up to full strength. They need a new Commander of the Iron Throne. That could be Alan Hoare. And then we also need um, a new member of the King's Guard. Do we have anybody in mind? Do we have any, like, commanders who aren't... We can put in uh, Euron. No, he's only got ten. Uh, Prince Tom and Lannister? No. Ambrose Frey? No. 
Yeah, we don't have a lot of people who are really good at, um, like, personal combat. Okay. Need a new Lord Commander. Um, I'm just going to choose the oldest. It's probably Addison Wim Rooster, but we'll just do a little check. Yeah. Addison uh, Wim Rooster. There we go. He is now in charge. And bring me the greatest knights of the realm. So we have Sir Hugh, Sir Criston, and we also have Sir Willis. The reason I stopped at Sir Criston there was I was like, wait, what? He married a Yi Tai woman? Just a very odd thing. Uh, Sir Willis seems interesting. Yeah, let's go with him. Ah, it'll be highest honor to serve in your King's Guard. Fantastic. Look at that. Uh, you want some coin to compress your claim on something? No. Do you have any other weak claims I can press? I can press for Tolus. Uh, wait, I can press for Tolus. Oh. Previously, I couldn't. Oh, that's because, yes, that's because I'd raised army levies and I got distracted. Yeah, we could totally take Tolus. There's no reason not to. Where's the other weak claim we've got? High Lordship of Greenlands, which is... Oh, that's underneath uh, Mir. No, I want to take Tolis. It really expands us very far in. It lets us be near Marine and Astapor and Yunkai. Let's do it. Claim Tolis. Let's go. Yes, uh, send everybody with me here. Oh, look at that. The Reach still haven't finished their wars, so we can still use their troops however we feel like. So, there we go. 18,000 men. You're heading over to Tolis. I could, of course, go into the Smoking Sea, which I believe is bad. I believe that's a very bad thing to do. Uh, oh, Lord Paramount Brandon Darkwolf has declared the War of Northern Independence on King Edmund the Conqueror. Oh. Well, that's something. Well, we're going to send the Reach Army up here. We're now also going to raise up all troops we have available. So everyone who's in here, uh, on the mainland, is going to merge up in King's Landing. The Reach uh, is going to send their troops up to King's Landing as well. Okay. You're, you don't need to come with us. You don't need to come with us. Well, that's very worrying, the War of Northern Independence. Uh, head up there. Go. Edmund Tully, we've had enough of your house's domination over the north, so henceforth I shall rule over an independent realm from Winterfell. We shall win this right on the battlefield if necessary. Regards, Lord Paramount Brandon of House Stark. Wow. Okay. Our old arm enter has chosen to support me in the war against Lord... Jamar Azaton, and he's pledged eternal loyalty to me. Fantastic. Uh, morale of my armies has gone up, thanks to my maester. Uh, okay. We'll call uh, everyone to this war. Oh! The Ironborn are with me. Oh, his wife is uh, not doing so well, but the Ironborn are with me. As is Pentos. Okay. As is the Veil, by the looks of it. No, as is a small part of the veil. Not the full veil. Just a small part. Okay, still merging up though. Uh, where's our boats? Oh, they're, they're, they're making their way. Uh, I'm going to do nothing there. I'm going to continue merging up down this way. Oh, the veil have actually declared against me. Oh, wow. Now that... That is not on. Okay. We're around here now. Uh, I would like to drop my men off. Make sure we have leaders. So we have uh, these three people lead it. Right. Over here. Still merging up. Oh, I don't need those two men either. Yeah, I guess our plan is merge up and then march north across the road that we built. Which would make some sense. Uh, let's put in... The... Oh, right. We have a dragon rider as a commander. Okay, well, that changes things slightly. Hey, um, instead of this guy, we're going to put in the Dragon Rider. Yeah. Oh, we lost three men because we have a dragon. Wouldn't you look at that? We've also already taken the top one. 
Because we have a dragon. Look at how quick this is going. We need a new King's Guard. Um, I'm going to choose... Yeah, Oswin Snow. Nice. Okay. Still merging up over here. Still merging up. Okay. Good. There are some battles in the north. Oh, it's the Ironborn are taking it to the north. They are losing as well. Your enemy, King Brandon Stark, has been slain. He was slain by Regnar. Oh, wow. Regnar? i will mark you a special interest here. You are fantastic. Okay. Continue merging. Oh, we won another siege. I'm shocked. It's almost like we have a dragon ride rider in charge of our armies. Um, I need to be split up some more here. See, I'm going to take this... Yeah, we're going to split up into 20,000. I'm going to send one to Sea Guard. And I'm going to send this 15,000 uh, up to Erinford. Just splitting them up a little bit so that they don't go to the exact same provinces. And then we'll march them north. I'm then going to also leave 30,000 sitting in King's Landing as kind of like a backup. Oh, I've won this war, have I? <laughs> uh, yes, yes I have. Okay, well, um, offer peace and force demands. We've taken the high lordship of the... Uh, sorry, we've taken the lordship of the Black Cliffs. Oh, oh, yeah, we're taking the whole lot. Never mind. So we now have, um, sorry, we now have this guy, the Stormlander, Lord Ormond in charge. What else does he have? He had Gilmont as well, which is all the way over here. So that's cool. Uh, I can now disband these men and re-raise them if I wanted to. Uh, Lord, Diana Moore's treason is one thing. But that a Moor stands beside the Iron Throne, carrying the very sword sworn to defend your life, can Sir Emmond really be trusted? Emmond Moore. Um, I can kill him, at which point we would become bitter rivals. Um, I can imprison him, or he can say he will do his duty. I don't know. I, I think that uh, he's not good enough to justify being on my council if I'm questioning him. So, off of his head. You look on as the traitor in your king's guard is dragged up to the block in one swift stroke. Justice is done. Okay, we have a chance of getting many traits. We become arbitrary. Okay, not great, but there you have it. At a meeting of the small council, Lord Owen Darkland has suggested Sir Geralt to be a member of our King's Guard. I don't think so. I want Regnar. Yeah. Regnar, you want to be a member of the King's Guard? He said yes. Oh, fantastic. So we have Regnar. I like how Regnar as well. It's a member of our King's Guard. Oh, he's also a former slave eunuch. Interesting life for Regnar. Also, he's decided, no, I don't want I don't need to wear the whites of a King's Guard. I'm just gonna wear my normal outfit, you know? I don't need to look like a King's Guard. Uh, I'm not gonna... Yeah, I'm not gonna give you money to press your claims. I don't need that. I have so many claims I can press. Oh, that's because... That's because everything is broken free. Yeah, that's because we have Stormlands and Westlands. That's, yeah, not a great time to look at claims. Right, March North. The Ironborn kind of look like they're doing a good job of this war by themselves. I mean, they're not gonna win, but they're, they're not doing a bad job. Oh, this person wants some money from a bank. That's okay. Oh, um... That's not good. I didn't realize we were getting caught in the way. Put Theomor and we'll put um, Euron and uh, we'll put Tom in. Please join the battle. With our dragon, it's a rather different, uh, yeah, rather different thing. Lysine Frey, uh, Frey offered to teach her a game called Savash. She learned from merchants at the inn. Yeah, let's do that. You, you think you're starting to get the hang of Savas. Lythine wants to challenge you to a game. Okay. Um, if they're going back down, I'm actually going to send these 29,000 back up. You were sure that Lycine was luring you into a trap. It seemed impossible that she hadn't seen a hole in our defenses, but you uh, struck and you won you the game. Let's be humble about it. Yeah. Okay. Continue to march north. Into the Freylands. 
What dragon are we taking with us here? Out of curiosity. Uh, it's... It's a... Uh, Theomore's dragon. It's Miraxis. Oh, wow. Okay. So in we go. We have defeated some northern armies. We now have 43% in our side. Because these battles are worth a lot. Right. Oh, did the Neck join us? No, they just declared neutral. Okay. We're going to win the Freylands to start with. Um, I believe this might go quicker if Theom uh, I'm sure there's a dragon thing where this can just instantly be done, but maybe I'm wrong. While some resent your almost despotic rule of the Iron Throne, the competent manner in which you ruled has lent you a certain efficiency. As a consequence, you have naturally acquired more powers at the expense of your vassal lords. So I move to limited realm authority. Oh, okay. So... Opinion goes down, I get more minimum levy, and I can now uh, appoint army leaders? I thought I could appoint army leaders anyway. Oh, interesting. We get to absolute realm authority. They can no longer declare neutrality or act independently in wars. Oh, wow. Um, That is incredible, that one down there. wonder if we go up to this. I'm just checking. Now, I was wondering whether that would get you holy wars if you went to, like, really high faith authority. No. But no more power to the king. Fantastic. Love it. We won the first siege. Um, am I going to take Finara as a ward? Sure. Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hand off this army and I'm going to march to uh, Winterfell. Yeah, let's march up. We, we have a dragon in charge. Seems like a good time to march. Okay. Keep heading north. Straight at Winterfell here if we can. Oh, wait. No, no, no. Wait here for a sec. We can, we can travel, right? Yeah. My ward, Lady uh, Baranira, is, is turning into an arrogant little braggart. Let's teach her pride goeth before fall. She's gained the humble trait. I'm just waiting till these guys lock. They're locked. Right, we're going to defend. Who are we defending? Is that Pentos' troops? It's Wendwater's troops. Oh, okay. Interesting. So we're marching in. They did lose their battle, but we are going to get there. Do I want my ward, Lady uh, Fianera, to be ambitious? No. I don't think so. Right. And we're in here. Theomore, weirdly, it doesn't have any, seem to have any dragon traits, but I'm sure he should. Oh, no, there we go. Um, I don't know if there were any dragon traits there, but he certainly won his side quickly, so that's good. Conditions are worsening in Riverrun. Oh. Okay. Uh, we have now crushed uh, the northern troops. And now we're heading to Winterfell. Straight to Winterfell. We have a prisoner called Grover. Uh, we can get 10 gold for him, or we can execute him, probably. Um, yeah, what if I just want to execute him? Uh, execute imprisoned. Grover dies. The council are not for it. You know what? Stay in my prison until the end of the war, then. The local septum wants to organize a miracle play for the pious in our domain. Sure. Why not? Keep marching towards Winterfell. Uh, I need a new commander. I do need a new commander. That's going to be Jonas. Okay. Keep marching towards Winterfell. Rovers uh, request an audience with me. Upon meeting in the court, uh, you hear he's offering to pay the ransom for his release personally. No. Right. Into Winterfell. Start sieging it down. Conditions are worsening in King's Landing. Charity work is going well. It's going to be a slow siege. They want to become Kingslander? No. I, I'm a river man. Wow. And that's a point to... That's a line to end his life with, isn't it? I'm a river man. Your grandfather. King Edmund Tully has died. Now falls upon you to make the funeral big and special event or keep it small and private. A funeral. Where all the lords and ladies of the realm shall be invited. 
King Edmund has taken his last breath at age 64. He died a natural death. Arbitrary in life, Edmund acted according to his will alone. Hopefully his death can at least heed the guy. Hopefully in death he can at least heed the guidance of the gods. King Bywin, merely 14 years old, the realm was left in the capable hands of the regent and council. Long live King Bywin. Your grace, King Ed... Edmund has taken his last breath. May he repose in peace. Now his heir, Lord Paramount Bywin Tully, shall take the throne and shall rule the Seven Kingdoms henceforth. So that's us. We're, we're apparently married to uh, Queen Sansa of the North. Um, that seems like a divorce situation. It would be accepted. Um, well, yes, I'm going to definitely chuck that right in there as a divorce. But apart from that, yeah, we, we're now King Bywin. Our heir is Jared, a Wayfarer's Rest. So we do actually have a little bit, but it's a completely separate line of the Tullys that we'd uh, swap into here. So I want to keep this, this line going, but yeah. Let's end the episode there. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.